Hello and welcome to Drugs Plus. Whether you're here for exam revision or just general interest, I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so that I'm able to continue creating this content. This video is about blood types. A person's blood type depends on which type or types of antigen their red blood cells present on their membrane. The function of these antigens is to communicate with white blood cells, basically telling them that they are not a foreign body and should not be attacked. These antigens include the A antigen and the B antigen. The four main blood types are AB with both A and B antigens, type A with only A antigens, type B with only B antigens, and type O with neither antigen. The reason we recognise these different blood types is because some are not compatible for donation with other types. For example, if a person with type A blood receives a transfusion from a type B donor, then their white blood cells will identify the B antigens as foreign and produce antibodies against them, causing the immune system to attack. Donor-recipient compatibility depends on this. As type O blood cells present neither A or B antigens, their corresponding white blood cells recognise neither, meaning that they produce both anti-A and anti-B antibodies. Type B blood cells lack only A antigens, and so their corresponding white blood cells produce anti-A antibodies. Similarly, type A blood cells lack B antigens, and so their corresponding white blood cells produce anti-B antibodies. Type AB red blood cells, however, possess both A and B antibodies, so their corresponding white blood cells recognise both and therefore produce neither type of antibody. From this information, we can see that type O patients can receive blood from only type O donors as they have anti-A and anti-B antibodies. Type B patients can receive blood from type B or type O donors as they only have anti-A antibodies. Type A patients can receive blood from type A or type O donors as they only have anti-B antibodies, and type AB patients can receive blood from any other blood type as they have none of the relevant antibodies. This is why the AB blood type is known as the universal recipient. Additionally, the O blood type is known as the universal donor as there are no antibodies that attack the antigenless blood cells and so they can be donated freely. However, to complicate matters, there actually aren't only four blood types, there are eight. All of the previously mentioned blood types exist in both positive and negative forms of the rhesus blood type, named after the rhesus monkey in which the relevant antigen was first discovered. This is the D antigen. And blood cells are positive in its presence and negative in its absence. The white blood cells of people with negative blood types produce anti-D antibodies which target the cells for attack. Therefore, although a negative donor is free to give blood to a positive recipient, a positive donor is unable to give blood to a negative recipient, as the white blood cells of the recipient will produce antibodies against the donated cells. Aside from blood donation, this can actually be a problem when a rhesus-negative mother is carrying a rhesus-positive fetus. Anti-D antibodies can actually cross the placenta and attack the fetus in a condition known as hemolytic disease of the newborn. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so I'm able to continue creating this content. I'll be back with more videos soon.